Oh, hello. It's Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. Bryce Castilla bringing you into and out of the green room. Taking a look at uh, a whole at the whole dang thing, Bryce Castillo. Uh, let's just jump you right into green room. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, hi, Brett. Is that? Uh, hey, uh, hey. I was just sitting here. Re oh, look, I'm not even on camera. Look at that. Oh, you are. You are. Okay. Where are the where are the guys? They the. Uh, uh, that just was. What. Why don't you come in here and we'll talk about it? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, uh, give me, uh, give me. Uh, can you can you cover for about ten seconds? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Hey, everybody, all, all you out there in in virtual land. I'm Brett Weaver. I'm also known as the announcer, also known as Teddy Confetti. Glad to be here today, all alone by myself in this room. I was just reading a thing and then. They turn on the camera, and uh, I don't know what to do. So I'm taking over the whole damn thing. I'm shaving my head. That's what's going to happen. I'm just shaving my head, and I'm going to go back to being whatever that character was so that you can enjoy the show. We're going we're gonna to get uh, Mike TV back here. We're going to bring... Uh, we're gonna bring uh, Heaton back from uh, from uh, Scotland. Mm -hmm. Just for right now, he needs to be here right now. Right now. Yes. Hi, Brett. Hi. How's your Tuesday going? It's going great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's making it so great? What's so you? Oh, big man, got a great Tuesday. What? I had a great Tuesday today. Uh, 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 in my uh, in my well, I've got another. Uh, more characters I get to record for, uh, uh, for a project. For a project, and I can talk about it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, called the Dirty Pair, which the is something pair. I recorded way back, yeah. and we redid. And I came in to play a cat, as we, I've talked about previously. That's right. The cat with with no lines. With no lines. That's right. He's basically was an I am Groot type of situation. Mm. And uh, uh, then we were having such a good time. He said, well, I've got these other characters. Yeah. You can play too. So that was good. That's great. And then in my regular life job mm -hmm. uh, where I have a team, yeah, I was told uh, I was sat down oh. and uh, by my sat leadership. Down, hey. Hey, we need to, can we talk? We need to just really quick. It really was. It was like, heart, just really quick. You know, we were. Hey, you got 10? Yeah, can we just. And I was like, okay. And they said, uh, something we need to tell you about. Was it too many? Were you eating too many of the everything bagels? Uh, no, but I do eat a lot of the kind bars. Oh, yeah. Those I'll, are good. I do like a kind bar. Yeah. They, they have a good breakfast bar. They, that, exactly. That's what ends yeah. up happening. But they said, we're concerned. Concerned, and I was like, "Okay, here we go." And they said, "Your team, um, they're working too hard." And I was like, okay. "Excuse me." They go, "Yeah, you you need to remind them to take lunches." You do. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna ding you on that. Yeah, you got it. Hey, that's not bullshit. People and, gotta eat. And I said, "You're right. I'm working on that with them." Good. And they're like, "Good." And I'm like, "Okay." And what else? And they said, yeah, no, that's it. That's it. That's pretty much it. And I said, this is a great fucking day if that's the biggest problem that we're having right now. I, so, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's okay. Can I look? I got a thing. I'm sorry. Tell I, me. Got, I hate, I hate to pivot. I, I got a thing. I Do it. A, I got a bug up my craw. Do it. I got a craw up my. Let's get that. Let's get that bug out of the craw. Up my gizzards. <laughs> you, okay. Look. We're in we're in Texas. We're mm -hmm. in Austin, Texas here. The land of the pickup truck. Yes. Good God. These fucking lifted tall trucks are out of control. Okay. They are out of control. They I there are a couple of pickup I go walking around the parking lot of my apartment complex. Okay. Uh and there's a lot of these pickup trucks where the the hood, the top of the hood comes up to about about my head right about five five and a half feet or so like <laughs> well because it's not exact it's not like i went up to it and was right was, and was did measured. put back to back and then said you know i'm this many and then you can mark on i'm right. this tall right right yeah it's it's they're they're so dangerous 
They're suit. They're even even standing by one parked. It's completely parked. It just feels like oh, I hope it doesn't turn it, on and run over me. It, it will suddenly eat you. You know, a true <laughs> monster truck is that. Yeah, I've I've definitely had those moments where I'm standing there and I realize I need to take three checks before I walk out in front of this thing yeah. because I know that I'm going to walk out in front of the truck and a car will run me over. I will just get hit by another mm, car. Mm, mm, mm. Eh. It's it, 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 the the lifted truck. The, have you seen? Uh, it was in Carol, one of the Carolinas, I think, or no, maybe it was in Florida. It was one of those two con- one of these two states, <laughs> Florida or Carolina two states. Um, <laughs> the so you ha- so you have the lifted trucks. It's sure, both both sides are are raised really high. Yes, but they've also got what did they call it? the Carolina lean or the Memphis lean to where it's where you only raise the front and you're, you're and doing you're, this and yeah. And you're going up and you're facing upwards. So your blind spot is like fucking 20 feet right. in front of you because you're, you're, you're aiming up. You're aiming like you're going to fucking retall your, your, your F one fifty into the orbit. Right. You would hope that the cops would pull over and just go, dude, Come on. just, I mean, not even a ticket, just, yeah. Dude. Now I think I, I do think they did outlaw that one that last one I described where it's only one half of it lifted. But um it's it's uh it's dangerous. It's he, okay, here's one for you. Do you is that worse or better than the coal rolling? You know the coal rolling coal rollers where you're where you're behind the pickup truck and 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 all the all the, the smoke smoke comes out because they've got like bad diesel Cause, and yeah because they just have it set up. I, I, this I'll put up with this, but if it's a lot of noise and smoke, then I'm mad. I'm instantly mad. Yeah, because that's also bad for the environment. Yeah, that's I just guess, being a dick. That is tro- totally mm, being a dick. I guess putting people at putting people at risk of being run over is also yes dangerous and bad. Hmm. Hmm. But 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 what maybe maybe the tilted trucks like that is like the equivalent of having ape hangers on a on a Harley. You know what ape hangers are? Ape hangers. Ape hangers. It's where you you have you know regular handlebars for, it, but instead they go way up like this, and you have to you have to hold on to them, oh. and and so so the thing is is that makes it very dangerous. But maybe because you're being dangerous, you pay more attention. Yeah. And maybe the same thing with the assholes in the truck that are tilting. Uh They're like, look, we recognize how stupid this is. Yeah. Nobody talks about the times you drink and drive and get there safely. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Exactly. Sorry. uh, History's written by the winners. I mean, you've got 500 of those trucks, and only one kills a family of six. So... It's just they're too tall. They're just they too are. Tall. They are. It's uh, mm, they it's, are. I I don't want to make it a, a like a small penis thing because I, no, I think that's it's easy reductive. Yeah, it's a it's like a the tired joke. It's much. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say no more dick jokes, but that was a good one. So yeah. <laughs> are you uh are you are you gaming? Are you gaming anything? I'm I'm right I'm uh, uh tearing of the kingdoms. Oh, okay. How uh. Are you almost done? No, I am. I am. It, you, my buddy Doug comes over and he watches me play, and he goes, "Oh, this is Skyrim and Fallout Four put together," <laughs> because I'm being a sneaky archer most of the time, oh. and you know, I'm I'm doing my crafts thing and building things. Yeah, and yeah. you know, okay. and occasionally a zombie I'm shows a up. <laughs> I'm just a huge asshole. I don't know why. For whatever reason, I really wanted to like pound in. And this is not fucking Skyrim and <laughs> Fall. Are you fucking kidding me? This is not even the same goddamn thing, Doug. You watch out. It is, Doug. You watch out, <laughs> Doug. It's not at all. <laughs> so, but it's a fun game. Yeah. Such a fun game. Are you doing? Um, have you have you got any of the uh, the big builds like the? Uh, like ridic- ridiculous things. Yeah, I've, se- I've I've seen where I guess there's a way you can make it build like cars and yes, and shit. Yes. Um. Are, are you doing that stuff? Or I've done the anything? cars. I haven't done the ultimate weapon type situations where you combine certain wheels with 
lasers and rockets to make the whole thing just easily kill mm, mm. Uh, uh, the the big trolls. Yeah, uh, I've only done that once, and it was to take out some um, uh, take out, and that was just to take out some bad guys off in the distance mm. that I want to have to fight. If aliens land on Earth, mm -hmm. and they are like exactly. Like exactly, capital T Tolkien orcs. Sure. Are we fucked? Because, because hold on, aliens. Aliens mean space travel. Sure. Space travel means a certain amount of of of, of intellect and stuff. Sure. And they're gonna get on the internet because they I mean, they've certainly got a three G antenna on there. I think right. Three G around here. <laughs> and they're gonna they're gonna Google and they're gonna see orcs must die. They're gonna see orcs must die too. Orcs must die. They made a whole franchise out of killing us. We haven't even met here. And they're already pissed. And now they're, they're already, already pissed. And now we got to kill the orcs again. Orcs must die for. Yep. I, just I mean that's all of American <laughs> war policy, isn't it? <laughs> Human war policy. Yeah, yeah that's if true. You really want to take the ten thousand? We're the good years. guys. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the. <laughs> I uh, I watched, funny enough, I watched uh, 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 Starship Troopers. I love that movie. A few weeks ago, it was great. Uh, I I don't know if I had sat down as an adult and watched it this uh, uh, before, but I thought it was really cool. I thought it was good. I definitely got like the subversiveness of it. Yeah. The like, the the the. the uh, how would you describe like the the all the jingoism and the all the very, yeah like pro uh, 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 not even intervention just invasion right um, themes and how you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to like you're not supposed to like it right it's supposed to be not good but it, but if you read the book the book makes a little bit of a case of saying if you want to be a true citizen. They need, you need to put your body on the line to be a, a true citizen. And for like a while there, is. yeah. Mm -hmm. And like go go into the military, do those things. I mean, it's an extreme example. A, a short time in my life where I was like, okay, tell me how this is bad because mm -hmm. it shows that you really, are you're on purpose wanting to be there. You are passionate enough about your country that you're willing to do that thing. Therefore, you should be able to uh, have more of a say. Mm. I mean, I'm not in agreement with it now because it's like there's yeah. so many reasons why that won't it's work. It's understandable but... why a lot of people got it backwards. Yes. Um, yep. Because apparently, I, I was Googling it a little bit, apparently the sequels are not exactly as ironic no. as as that first movie is. No. Um, they're making, I think they're making a Battle Royale game with the Starship Troopers Property? Yeah. So Battle Royale as in the... Like a Fortnite. Oh, okay. I thought maybe this oh. was like the Japanese well, that's, movie. That's the name of that. That's that genre. Do, do you know like what Fortnite is? Uh, yeah, I know Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. I didn't... A, that is a Battle Royale game. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so they're making... There was a movie called Battle Royale. Yeah. That's why we call that that genre. Uh, it's very similar to the plot line and the mechanism. Teenagers it. killing each other. Yeah. But cool. now it's it's like Wolverine doing the gritty and yeah. Goku hitting the nene. Sure. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, what, that's yeah. what it's become. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Hey, uh, where where are the guys? I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I uh, uh, I got a new drink here. Yes. We, we, I, this was in the fridge. Yes. Here's the thing. It doesn't make any sense to me. No, it's a sparkling lemon thing, right? It's a sparkling lemonade. Yes. In look, I'm not gonna be bougie about this. Because I know that lemonade doesn't necessarily have carbonation in it. Right. But it's in a can. Sure. Like, I'm expecting lemonade to be a little bubbly. Sure. I don't know. It, it's just, it's, it's, uh, uh, what is it? Redundant. Sparkling lemonade. It's redundant to me. Okay. Because you're already refreshed without the sparkle. 
Or is there too much sparkle? No, it in just it? it should. Ha- I I should expect it to. I would expect it to have. Some, oh, some because sparkle. it says sparkly. I see what you're saying. It's like it's you don't lemonade. need to say it's sparkling lemonade because it's a lemon. It's a lemonade. Yeah. It'll be sparkling anyway. Um. Anyway, it tastes. It tastes like diet. Yeah, it's got stevia, it's got in, stevia it. in it. Is that? I guess that's what stevia is. The taste of diet. Yes. Mm. It it tastes mm. it, it tastes mm. wrong to me. It, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said it. Yeah. I, I don't think it tastes right. I think it tastes sinful. I think it, I think it tastes unholy. Sinful? Stevia. See, I, I just think it tastes wrong. Yeah, I do. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm... Morally wrong. <laughs> yes. Morally wrong. That's right. We right. should cast the demons out of that uh, stevia. I'm just saying when I drink it, okay? Yeah. My breath, it's like I'm in a in a in a walk-in freezer right for one second after i after i drink it it's it's so hellishly cold and demonic i take a drink and go yes you know and it's because of the drink it's not because you're evil no that's it's i mean (laughs) you know what (laughs) very clever but no i i i think i'm not evil just yet you're not you have to drink more of that before you can be more of it, yeah. Be evil. And they even made it look like a fucking monster, like it's like, yeah. like a black aluminum. And and as I helped stock the fridge, I noticed that there was a monster next to it. Oh, there is. That's right. Yeah. Are you? Do you do energy drinks? Is that I, your monster? The the white the white <laughs> the white monster. And mm. uh, nobody should be surprised about that. Uh, I drink the white monster. <laughs> I am the white monster. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Need to be gentrifying a neighborhood. Sorry, every time I drink it, <laughs> that happens. I, uh, I've talked about this, but I, I will only really drink the energy drinks that are just a shit ton of caffeine. Yeah. Like, don't give me guarine. Don't give me taurine. No. Don't give me firing. <laughs> don't give me stevia. No. Give me sugar. Give yeah. Me caffeine. Like, let me, look, I don't need a new drug. I need the old drug. It's called caffeine. Yes. And I want a lot of it. But you want some sugar in there, too, though. I'll take some sugar. Yeah. The, the, I, had, the, I have a caffeine, uh, one of those pre-workout, one of those workout powders. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah. And that's like a no sugar thing. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good. But. I, I do my bougie uh, pot of tea, loose tea. Oh, I, I make that's what I have instead of coffee, oh. because uh, if I have coffee, I it's it's almost a certainty that I'm going to get heartburn later. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's and nice. so and so I started drinking the jasmine tea okay. and then I got fancier and fancier because I was like, I don't like the tea bags and I want a larger amount. And I'm like, I got this French press. Yeah. And so it's just like each thing. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get some loose tea and then. Oh, I like this better loose tea. Oh, and I found a more affordable loose tea. Mm-hmm. And then everybody's like, oh, Brett, with this French press, it's like it's cheaper. <laughs> sure. Well, and I think that, I think you're allowed to be, you're allowed to become like an equipment guy for tea or for coffee. Yeah. Like my mom is like that with tea. She's got like teapots and all sorts of stuff. Right. and sure. kettles and things. Yeah. What have you. But... When you drink soda, when if you're a soda, if you're if you're one of the aluminum Illuminati, sure, nice. Then you you only have this like consumerism point of view, right? You can only say, well, I like Pepsi or I like Coke, yeah. or 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 I like Jones. Oh, I'm drinking oh, the Jones. Yeah, I like Jones is great, but like, but but it's not like grinding the bean. No, you're it's not like doing the whole. Yeah. The whole thing. I'm just going to my fridge and cracking open. There's, uh, I've, uh, I've added to my food, uh, weekly food decisions that we do like a vegetarian thing once a week. Oh, okay. And, and, this is very funny. yes. Uh, and, uh, I, I decided that I found an Ethiopian place. Uh, that's up uh, on the way home. Uh, that makes a really good mixed Ethiopian veg- vegetable plate with the the good 
spongy bread, and mm. it's very good. Okay. So I put in the order. Is there like a sauce or a dip? There is. Uh, a, it's or like, like a lentils. Shoe. There's lentils and a nice. And so everything you use that bread to eat the uh, thing. So you okay. break off, yeah. and it's a spongy injera bread is what it's called. But the funny thing about the place is he still hasn't quite figured out how to market the place. And of course, I can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> but like, it, like I want to say it's like Magadena or something. It's like a weird name, but maybe not for them, but just for me to say. Mm. And uh, every time I go, they're always surprised. I put the order in online, and it says the order will be ready in 20 minutes. And so I drive from work. takes me 20 minutes to get there. And I get in, and two times I've been there, and both times it's been empty. And I come in, and the guy comes out, and he's always surprised to see me. Had anyone ordered anything? Yes. And, and he's like, oh, oh, hold on. And they go back, and they actually make the order for me while I wait. But the whole point of that was mm. then the son uh, 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 comes out, and he proceeds to make me Ethiopian coffee, oh. which is like where coffee originally came from. Oh, and wow. so, like, they have a whole coffee. They don't do the whole coffee service. But he's been making me, like, a little cup of, you know, espresso or yeah. something uh, before. And he's like, would you like this while you ate? And so the second time I said, so you guys keep, you're not checking your printer, are you? <laughs> you're not checking your the printer. And so you're giving me the, and he's like, oh, oh. I'm like, it's okay. If you give me coffee, I'm going to be fine. So <laughs> Begging cheese. Yeah. Begging and, cheese. Like, I just, <laughs> but I just probably went, you guys, you need to check your printer sure. because yeah. that's, that's that's what's happening. Yeah. And he, like, I'm making fun of you, but also give me my fucking food. Yes. No, you're right. <laughs> that happens. There's a, a poke place near me that, that did that to me as well. I order online mm -hmm. through their website, through the thing. Right. And then I get there and like, hey, that's my shut. Yeah. Like, oh, it's down or whatever. Right. And so they, but and so they can't even like pull it up. They have like me tell them what it is. Why don't you tell us what you're having? Which and then I didn't because I paid extra. That's here's my thing is they get me on the upsells. On sure. The, apps. the oh you want you want two you want some extra tuna you want more tuna oh you want you want uh, you know I yeah you want an avocado like I'll I'll do it I'll do it but then. I forgot all of that when I was oh. telling them my order. Oh, yeah, and so the whole point is that you're. I don't know. I'm yeah, doing, I'm doing their work. If you say I'm you're gonna, if you if you say do this thing, then have it ready. Yeah, come on. Especially when you say on the on the 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 email that comes back to you, this will be ready at this time. Sure. I mean, I've definitely had a couple places that I go to that I show up and they're like, yeah, it's ten more minutes. Like, well, then don't. Mm. Maybe you guys need to recalculate. Though I don't, I, I guess I don't order via the apps very much anymore. Oh, okay. I'm not. It's it's it gets expensive. Do it's you, expensive. Do you call it in? I, well, I just don't eat out. I just don't. Oh, you don't. don't you go to Taco much. Bell. That's it. I will do Taco Bell, and I'll use their app. Yeah. I, you want to talk about the Taco Bell app? They've had some updates. <laughs> but um, <laughs> really, it's just four ingredients. It's four ingredients in different orders. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's what you yes. like. I, mean, I know. Yes, you're <laughs> correct. Good. Hundred percent marks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, yes. I get it. It's all the same stuff. It's tortillas, it's ground beef, and cheese, and I like those things. Yeah. I don't need mushrooms. Don't give me mushrooms. No. I don't need onions. Don't give me onions. Okay. I don't need it. I don't want lettuce. Don't give me lettuce. You don't want lettuce. I mean, we did the we did that show a few weeks ago on my for my birth with the yeah. birthday one, and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I could I could tell that they had made the order with no lettuce on anything. Yeah, <laughs> and it was great. <laughs> it uh, I I think it took me about a week or so to get through all those leftovers. <laughs> oh, now they show up. Now they show up. Yeah, the, uh, the other mic's under the seat. Where is oh, the uh, the mic? Where's the yeah. uh, the mic? It's under the seat there. Right. It's under the Hey, look, seat. everybody. It's our host. Under the seat. Hi. Oh, damn. Justin. Hi, Brian. Man, we went through it. I don't want oh. mushrooms either. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck mushrooms. Fuck your mushrooms. I don't want not. Look, here's the thing. Taco Bell figured it out. Four ingredients, 
Earth, Remix wind, them. fire, water, That's and right. then and then when they make it, heart. Uh, <laughs> yes, only only That's only it. one franchise. Sorry, I'm squinting. I've I've been. I've you been, had an uh, eye thing. You were telling me about your eye thing. Well, so, so so my eye got irritated, and I made the mistake of wiping my eye, do which irritated the eye. And oh, so do now, you just you just wiped your eye because uh, before. The bathroom. You said that your eye was irritated. Yes, and and then you went into the bathroom, and now you're squinting like Popeye. You're very Popeye, <laughs> extremely Popeye. You know what? I'm gonna lean into it. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> lean into <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I love battling bigger men for the affection of a woman. <laughs> Eight line, <laughs> twenty nineteen twenty three. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, oh, it, the problem is, if if I touch it, it's only gonna get Don't worse. Do that blink. Yeah, the right. Okay. You blink a lot. All right. So can you get spinach? spinach? Maybe we should get him. Spinach. Get him some spinach. Some spinach. Do you it, want that'll spinach? make him strong to the finish? You know what? I had a relationship with spinach for a long time. Yeah, and I'm proud to say I've moved beyond it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it did make me stronger. But that was an illusion. Yeah. What I really needed to do was strengthen the relationships of the people I love. You don't need to factor the outside world mm -mm. into your own self-worth. Nope. You yam who you yam. And that's all that you yam. <laughs> you know what? I have a friend of mine who's constantly on the hook. He was constantly asking me for money. Clearly, he was in right. Both eyes are closed. <laughs> For audio listeners, both of now it's eyes more are Gilbert Godfrey. He's, uh... he's now just giving takes like he's Ray Charles. <laughs> I'm just gonna say he's waving his head rhythmically as he gives his takes. This clearly addicted motherfucker kept telling me he would gladly play, pay me Tuesday. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. For some heroin today. Wow. I said. Wow. You have the heroin? Uh, Did you give yeah, it to no, him? I'll, I'll also, in this universe, I deal heroin. I yeah. forgot to mention that. Yeah. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. Brian's yeah. eyes are both closed. Yes. In the As he's now made Wimpy into a heroin addict. I may, yep. I may just do the whole show like this. With your eyes closed. Yes. I, I think I would actually see more. <laughs> if I did so, all I know is the more I wipe away the tears in my frustrated left eye. Do we know why your eye is tearing? It's it's dry and hot. It's 140 degrees. I have allergies. Uh, also, it's okay. Yeah. It's so everything day. was all things that we all deal with as well until the last thing. Sure. That I have allergies. Things that we could have probably just said you had allergies. Yeah. Have you taken a Claritin? You know what? <laughs> if I could see my iPhone, I would make a note to take a Claritin. Let me see your iPhone. <laughs> you might have to unlock For it. For a second, I thought you actually <laughs> wanted to see my eye, which is the subject of the melody. Can I also, can I also see, see my that? iPhone? Yeah. Yeah. I'd Good also like to see. Getting it open without my eyes open. Go ahead. Let's we did see. a whole Monorogue episode. Hey, you know, hey, you did. Uh, yeah. One time, Callie got something stuck in her eye, and yeah. I can you open your eyes though? That you blink a lot. What's yeah. your password? And Say she it on actually my... did it, and it worked. And it worked. Huh. One. He just kept his eyes eight, closed. Sure. So zero zero. Cars for kids. <laughs> it sucks. Taking <laughs> 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 your glasses. Just gonna go. Maybe. Don't matter. Oh, Jesus don't need them. Christ. Oh, we're doing that. Are we doing that? I'm very blind. blind. You're, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Glow up? Wow, you're Mexican. <laughs> hey, look, my <laughs> wife's bringing me a shake. You, you look like my cousin. Thank you, baby. You you're like... Mexican? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I figure the Did worst get thing shake I delivered? do is yeah. touch Wonderful. my eyes anymore, right? You, you blink a lot. Yes, but you, you blink your eyes. Yeah, blink. Do, rapidly all right, and do, do seven rapid blinks. Here we go. We'll all count it. Three, two, one, go. You've got the iPhone one, two, right in three. front. No, we don't. What? One, Come two, on. three, four, five, five six, six, seven. seven okay, eight. good, good, good. There we go. How yeah. do you feel? I mean, oh. better. Oh. No. Nah. Because that yeah. flushes, it helps flush out the, it it's, it's like your saliva. It you flushes just, it out. It flushes it out. 
I have to I have to remain comfortable with all of the the dewy glow around my eyes. Yeah. Like yeah. stuff that's going to crust into a have, have either what have any of you guys eyes? woken up and uh, uh I do it every day and your eyes are glued shut? Have you ever had that experience? I don't know. That Blink has happened eyes. once. I've had that one. Blink your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better have that one. <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> betrayal. That's a betrayal. That's a betrayal. I tried I to get him. I failed. I, 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 I almost got him. him. I tried to get him with a face unlocked. My eyes remain closed. <laughs> My heart remains open. <laughs> can't lose. Yeah, that feels you like can't lose the comedy. Uh, 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 man. I'll tell you what, guys, I, I'm very excited about this green lemonade situation for Brad. <laughs> is this is this just me Maybe. or is everyone trying to rip off 90 Sprite? Because you know that Pepsi Pepsi gone. rebranded Sierra Nevada. Yep. They're not Mist. Sierra Nevada, Sierra Mist. Mm -hmm. Yep. As Starry. Starry. And it's just 90s sprites, colors, and sure. advertising. Yeah. And I don't know what the fuck this green lemonade thing is, but it looks like, it, like 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 uh, like a, like a dark side '90s sprite. And if the world was The Sims, and I could just mess with everything, I would make Sierra Nevada rebranded, looking like sprites. So somehow Sprite was competing with a beer that would <laughs> with be an fucking IPA. Amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> if it was just like a bunch of ads. Where like people turned into liquid and it was just like beer, <laughs> get drunk. Uh, how did how did Sprite corner the market on hip hop? Uh, uh, like like they're currently celebrating their fifty year anniversary of being Sprite, yeah, and strongly associating that with hip hop music. I think because they were from around the same time, because uh, hip hop I think just celebrated its like fiftieth anniversary at the last Grammys. So there was a symmetry there. And also they used a lot of like rap stuff in their ads. Sure. Uh, like pretty start, early on. Start, starting in the early nineties. That yeah. that was when they did the obey your thirst, right? Yeah. Uh, and you know what? First actually, things first, actually obey your I, thirst. I think right. All I, the way to the beginning, it was it was yeah, kind of I a remix message where they said, "What about lemon? What about lime? What if you combine them together?" Yeah. Lime and and that was the original launch in nineteen eighty three. That was it with the wheels of steel. Uh, oh, what? That's what they call the turntables. Oh, you could error, 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 error. you you could have just said turntables, but I like the wheels of steel. I don't. I didn't know. I didn't know that wasn't a, a, a universally I, understood. You know, thing. I'm gonna. I was that for embellishment. No, you had the embellishment. That was good. The wheels of steel. The wheels of steel. Yeah. Did I like you know it. that that's what turntables were called? No. I didn't no. Okay, now I so, yeah. so if there's a trivia there question, an and the question is, Wheels of Steel, is oh, it a reference to turntables or a monster truck? Or a Rolling Stones album. Or a truck that vexes Bryce. Yep. These are not how questions are written. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you're the one that does it best, so. What, what, is, the, uh, what is the truck that vexes you? The well, truck that vexes he was you? talking about... The lifted trucks. Those lifted trucks. You seen those? Yeah. Yeah. Like the Redeemer? No. It's... <laughs> okay. I mean, the... Yeah, kind of like the monster truck from the TV show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How is it not like it, though? <laughs> so if it's kind of like it, that means it's mostly yeah. not like it. Mm. Well, How? the monster truck... Explain. Is, the monster truck's kind of like a... a, 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 a what is it when the name is like not indicative? It's not really built like a truck. Like, it's built like a like a monster. grave digger. It doesn't it's literally frame. dig graves. No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so they're not exactly trucks either. Yeah. They're just like, like the Undertaker. He doesn't always take the under. <laughs> right. Right. You know, sometimes, sometimes he takes he the, over. the over. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or Bigfoot. Nary a foot on that vehicle. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. even one. He doesn't and, always big up the foot. <laughs> Are we out He's of, just living his life. Monster trucks he can yeah. remember. It's yeah, like El Toro Loco. <laughs> no. He doesn't always go crazy on the pole. Uh, yeah, yeah. I also can't. Think well, I'm glad we solved that. Okay. Looks like you solved your eye thing too. Uh, I think the secret Brian's is, eyes I, are I, open. I, I, I just have Which to. Which means it's now yeah. and you can shoot it to end the level. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've got I've got a flashing. <laughs> my red lights go one one yeah. one. And then wait, before when it just like, closed, you one, can't one, attack one. it. Yeah. Wide open. Yeah. One one one. Go oh, All right. <laughs> That's what I had to do with the Gibdo in Gerudo Town. Gibdo. Oh. Yeah. Zelda references. I'm a gamer now. You mm-hmm. are. I game. You're a you're yep. you admit it. All my all Ladies my Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time my ever gamers. coming out of the closet, one Justin Robert Young, he plays games. Yep. It's Pride Month. The gamer pride. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So it's almost over. So. That's it. Yeah. No, I, I play this uh, game. Mm-hmm. I, what I is solve it? I mean, it's like Zelda, a... Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. It's Kingdom of Crying, y'all. That's <laughs> what I call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saved all the kingdoms, man. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I saved the fish people. Yeah. I saved yep. the bird people. Bird yep. People. I saved the drug addicted rock monsters. Mm-hmm. The real thing. Yeah. Uh, 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 apparently, Princess Zelda uh, got everybody addicted to crack, like Reagan did to mm-hmm. the black community. Uh, and then I saved the lightning lesbians. They live in the desert. Yep. Yeah, that's right. They all got abs. Do they let you cross dress in this one? Like I think you one? can, but they don't make you. Uh, they don't force you to do it. Interesting. So it's not total sissy femdom. <laughs> 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 it's just it's, it's if you want to get it's into it, Femboy you can. Hooters the game. It's not Femboy yeah. Hooters. They don't make you dress like a girl so they can step on your balls and have you apologize. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if you want to do it, you can. You can if you want, but they don't force it. And they you make, have options. They 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 femmed up some of the lightning lesbians in this one. Oh, so it's like one out of every three is like, oh, I'll never find a man. So you know somebody at fucking Nintendo headquarters got a few too many emails that like they're all Megan Rapino. Mm. So they're like, all right, let's <laughs> let's put some buys in there, <laughs> like just to mix it up, you know, for the yeah. kids. Can. Can we talk about um, the latest episode <laughs> of uh, Secret Invasion? I haven't seen the latest episode of Secret Invasion, mostly because I wanted a quiet uh, uh, CIA-level spy show. Yeah. And it turned into not an that. action-adventure show where they could not pay Samuel L. Jackson enough to run. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They have... Uh, apparently... Secret Invasion cost more than Oppenheimer, mm. uh, and yet they could not pay Samuel L. Jackson enough to go any faster than a brisk walk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you are, are, are somebody, you're one of the few people in my life who, when I say Super Scroll, you have oh, a very boy. clear image in your mind. Uh, yes. In fact, I saw it to that episode, at which point... Uh, uh, they had a machine, and my wife was like, oh, what's the machine for? And I'm like, oh, they're probably going to make the Super Scroll. And she's like, what's a Super Scroll? And I'm like, oh, so you know a scroll can change things? A uh, Super Scroll can steal powers. Uh, and then literally the main character then verbalized <laughs> exactly what a Super Scroll is. Right. And then at the end looked directly into the camera and said, Ashley, this is a Super Scroll machine. <laughs> Okay, so canonically in the comic books, uh, the Here Super Scroll had four different powers. Yes. Uh, Brett slash Justin, what were the powers that they had? Well, I know. He go yeah, yeah, go not... on, whoever. Oh, they, yeah, well, because initially it was for the Fantastic Four, so it had all the Fantastic Four's powers. That's correct. Stretchiness, uh, uh, fire, rock, and invisibility. invisibility. Right. So yeah. uh, this most recent it made episode. It invisible. And then balanced. Burger. <laughs> this that's just in my version. <laughs> that's fun. This that's latest good. episode. You pitch that to Kevin his Mikey. dick was very flat, yeah. like a tray. <laughs> that's another thing you don't know about this girl. Level, he- level top. What are some things <laughs> regarding intellectual property that we know about the Marvel Cinematic Universe? In what terms are- of what has been established and what has not. Well, we know that they did a Mister Fantastic. Yes, as a cameo. As a cameo. Yeah. So they mm-hmm. have access to it. They do. And yet, it looks an awful lot like they're building the sc- Super Scroll. They did not have a no. recent episode. He did not stretch his arm. He did 
Groot power yes. stuff to stretch. Because they were showing, they've already established in the previous episode. What were they using? Yeah. Correct. Like what All DNA the they were using. Yeah. yeah. Right. So why hold it back? Why wouldn't that be the introduction to the Fantastic Four? Because it's incompetently written and oh. Marvel doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. You know what? That. That it also seems yeah. like they're making multiple Super Scrolls. So as someone who doesn't know any of this stuff, they can just make another guy who has all the Fantastic Four stuff. That's that's and also eventually like, they're gonna do a Fantastic Four. They're gonna do. They're gonna do thing. that. You're, you're you're like yeah. You're writing it for them. Okay. All right. Well. No, oh, I mean, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm legitimately really annoyed because the scrolls are always one of my favorite things. It's part of the reason why I didn't like Captain Marvel was because I think that they uh, uh, did not establish the scrolls. To me, you got to establish the scrolls as bad guys and then introduce some good scrolls to me because right. then I, uh, you can at least get that tension of. Can I trust them? Can I not trust them? Are they even who they say they are? But what if they did everything upside down well, yeah. and began with them as sympathetic characters, but tried it's, oh, now they're bad? And also, so the Super Scroll is the Fantastic Four, but, but it starts off not, not that way. And then also, they, they do the thing in those late X Men movies where uh, Jennifer Lawrence became way, way more famous while they were happening. And Jennifer Lawrence, as a superstar, was like, I don't want to do makeup every morning. And they were like, okay, okay. Um, in the script, Mystique says, I like, like human form. And then, then being be human. Is the yep. human. And then you got to do two, two days where you're getting into makeup. And yep. it's going to be the beginning and the end. And that's pretty much it. Except that they have that for, for all the scrolls. Yeah. All those girls are kind of, kind of always right, you're, you're, we're, 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 you're hanging in. You're, you're, hanging you're, hanging in. you're nuts are hanging out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me, Ma, move. We are robots. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, that's another great story about the scrolls. Uh, I'm with you, though. I'm fucking pissed off about... I. Why can't it be Battlestar we're supposed, Galactica? We're supposed to be racist against the scrolls. Ooh, can I tell you a, a, a thing that you're going to be excited about? I read a rumor on the internet. If it's true, you're going to be really excited. I'm a little bit disturbed by the linkage between what I just said and what you said, but I'm fascinated and I'm here to hear it. There we go. New Daredevil series. Yes. He's wearing the hot dog mustard com yep. combination. I don't know if that's the case. Okay. I do know that the new rumor is that it is split into two nine-episode seasons, and they are each three-episode arcs like Andor. Oh, nice. Andor was so, so well-received at Disney that they were like, hey, why don't we write Daredevil like that? And, and so, and I read the arcs. Good arcs. Are, are, are you worried Good about... Good arcs. Are you if worried... it's true. Are you worried about Andor uh, not delivering on account of the the writer strike? Like, uh, 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 because originally the director uh, Tony Gilroy, Gilroy yeah. said said I could separate my duties as a writer from my direction duties, and and then eventually pressures caused him to say, "Okay, you guys do it." Like, are they are they messing up the single best? Star Wars well, all property shut down now, ever, so it's like like no one has to worry about anything. Oh, now. I thought they were still producing. Oh uh, no, that's well, right. the actors. Uh, are gone. The actors no, because the actors yeah. are gone too. Yeah. So if anything, there'll be one of the three will suck shit, and then everyone will be like, "Oh, that's the one that happened right before the strike." And yeah. Yeah. You know that'll be bad. How much longer? U UPS got their contract. Yay, Teamsters. Huh? Mm. Solidarity forever. Oh, I heard about the summer of the strike. Something about UPS. They got them. They made a deal. So it's not going to be the summer of the strike, which is good. Not bad. Like a lot of people online who are really invested into being the summer of the strike because they got a good contract. Yeah. If I... you're as confused as I am, so am I. I'm not. Hmm. You don't hey. want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I was going to bring up the thing I did yesterday that made somebody uh, uncomfortable. I. You want to just sing Honesty by Billy Joel? 
Which one is that one? Honesty, such a lonely word. Everyone is so unkind. That was the one that Kendall Roy was singing at the beginning. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, Yeah. I thought that's why when he was doing the Christ-like figure, he was. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. with Lil Wu Tang. We never saw Lil Wu Tang. Uh, The Righteous Gemstones might be the greatest show I've ever seen in my entire life. Full stop. All right. Uh, I love it. I think it's fucking hilarious. It's really, really good. That full frontal dick fight scene. One of the funniest that things dude, I've ever that seen. That dude, if you know that role and that scene is coming up, I would never. Uh, he presents his early forties or whatever. Yeah, like that's one. It's like, uh, uh, this is it. This is this is my one shot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, as svelte and as cut as I ever will be for the rest of my life, so that I can get my ass handed to me by BJ, BJ. <laughs> in an episode of, of Righteous Gemstones. Hell of a dick, though. Nice hog. If I, yeah, yeah, real hose on this. Gentleman. I mean, all right, good you for know, him. They, yeah. we, all, we all know that those just a trunk. No, those, good for him. We, Baby arms. We all, swaying, swaying in sure. the breeze like Amber. Amber waves the grain. <laughs> An opposite C- CGI bullshit. Those, uh, those don't exist. You think it was a CGI dick? I think they go with real dicks <laughs> on the gemstones. <laughs> I know, we know people wait, that work wait, on the show. What, 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 what are the UFOs practical effects? No. You CGI that show. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no. No dick that big that's real? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. like a Sasquatch. Something that you know children think about. <laughs> I know my children will think about it since we watched it together. That's true. <laughs> it's it's weird to be in the I room. I thought that was you just making it uncomfortable, and then I realized you were just telling a real story about your life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, uh, it's weird to be in the room with one of your children saying, Is he jacking off? <laughs> uh, and I'm like, Yes, sweetie, he is. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. That man's cranking it. Yeah. Did, did you, neither one of you watch Star Trek? I watched one episode of Star Trek. Did the recent one? I have not seen a single episode of Strange New Worlds, but I got a text message from Tom Merritt that said, There's a up. musical, right? Uh, oh, no. That's coming up. That's yeah, coming. that's coming. I saw an ad for I, it. I received an unambiguous text. By the way, now's a good time to tap out if you're spoiler averse. Yes. Uh, saying... Brian Brushwood, in no uncertain terms, I'm going to tell you that you're going to drop everything that you have on your plate, and you're going to watch Season 2, Episode 7 of Strange New Worlds. What do you know about Strange New Worlds, Justin? I know that it's a set before uh, the original series, Correct. Star Trek. Yeah, the original Enterprise, helmed yeah. by Captain Pike. Okay? Yes. So, when Tom Merritt tells you that kind of thing, mm-hmm. you do something... Kind of like what I did, which is drop everything yeah. and start watching. Mm-hmm. And get about five minutes in, and you call your wife over and say, I know you don't give a rat's ass about this series or this franchise, but we're going to watch it. And it begins with previously on Strange New Worlds. And you see a bunch of Strange New World stuff. Yeah. Hey, that's Spock, that's Uhura, that's Pike, that's somebody else. I don't know. I yeah. don't care. Uh, look at them. They're all wearing the old-fashioned clothes. Nurse Chapel. Then... The program starts, and it's an episode of Lower Decks. It's like wackety schmackety. Nope. No. I mean, it's literally animated. Oh. It's literally Brad Boimler and Ensign Mariner on Lower Decks with Tendi and Rutherford. Yep. And they go down to the surface of a planet, and they get sucked into a portal, and Brad Boimler gets sucked in. Oh, it's a crossover episode. Yes. And becomes the guy from The Boys, Huey from The Boys, who yeah. voices Brad Boimler. That, yes. That, I don't know any of these names, but I'm yeah. picking up on what you're putting down. But, but the but, best, but, the, not to spoil, but the best thing he goes, everything looks more realistic here. That was how it, it opens. Later in the episode when they make efforts to leave, there's a great moment where it is like, ah, I just want to go back home. And they're like, yeah, everybody talks so slow and so quiet. Too. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's 
truly a gift of an episode. It's a beautiful. It's, uh, uh, it's so a beautiful it's Tawny episode. Newsom and uh, 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 ja- Jack Quaid. Uh, Jack Quaid. Yeah. Uh, back in the past, uh, uh, meeting all of their heroes, and then they find their way back home. It's, gotcha. It's great. Yep. Watch it. Well, I haven't seen any of Lower Decks either. So the idea of a crossover episode is is lost on me. But I think for everybody else, a delight. Yes. An absolute uh, confection of yes. entertainment for Heaton, which will linger Heaton in their mouths will be forever. overjoyed to watch oh, it. Oh, good Lord. He'll never stop coming. Yes. I, I spoke. an endless fountain, a Bellagio <laughs> fountain, as if oh, no yes. one had to worry about limited water ever again. <laughs> I, this I, man will just be coming so hard, he'll shrivel into a raisin. I, uh, I, I I spoke to Heaton today, and I tried to express, yeah, you should maybe give it a look yeah. Yeah. without looking up anything about it. He's yeah. like, well, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but right now it's very late here in Scotland. I was like, or maybe just watch right it this minute. Yeah, watch it, watch it. Yeah, and trust me, thank me later. He's like, well, I don't know about that. And then he floated. You want to know up. what Tom Merritt tells me to do immediately? What's that? Listen to K-pop songs. <laughs> he sent me a K-pop I, song where the youngest uh, member of BTS says the F word. It's the number one song in America right now. What? Yeah. The top two songs in America are Jungkook's Seven, because he's fucking seven days a week. That's the chorus. Uh, All right. And, and uh, uh, Party in the USA. Yep. No, number two is Jason Aldean's Try That oh, in a Small Lord. Town. Can, can we talk about that for it's a, a little con- bit? It's a controversy. Yeah. Well, I think, are we are we at? Should we talk about it at we're the top at. of the show? I mean, we're at. Unless, I don't know how much you have on it. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I just want to know what you I, have on it. Oh. Um, are people aware of what country music is? <laughs> <laughs> That's the part I didn't fucking understand. Like I'm like, are, are people surprised? aware? <laughs> like, yeah, like, I don't see. Like, well, this... I never. <laughs> uh, ever since I heard about country music on the NPR, I assumed <laughs> it was gay black men <laughs> being brave. Now I find out it's about small town dipshits. Yeah, it's about small town white people feeling good about themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like, like like that's uh. uh... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he he try that in a small town. It's a bunch of people. It's a music for people who watch Fox News and see the riots on TV and then say, "Try, try that, that in a small town." Yeah, yeah. I'll shoot you. Uh, uh, and and that's. I would hope that they were more explicit. I would. I was hoping that they would go more explicit of what they would happen if you tried in a small town. Instead of we'll take care of you. No. Tell me exactly what it you, is that you, you guys are going to do. Like the uh, the the onion parody, where they're like, uh, <laughs> they, no, they, no. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> no, lick, lick. no. Uh, uh. If it's the one I'm thinking Bomb of, New York, <laughs> light up the sky <laughs> like the Fourth of July. <laughs> is it? Is it the uh, the the column? Uh, uh, why do all these friends keep shaking my desk? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, th- uh, this one's a country music video where everyone comes together saying, hey, nice try, Osama. Why don't you try again? And the lyrics are like graphically detailing, there's an uninspected <laughs> duct oh. on the fourth floor of this building. <laughs> Come at us. Bomb we dare, we the sky dare like you. Fourth of July, yeah. We dare you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of, and we should not. I found the I one they, you were thinking of, and I yeah, don't they should. Put it I think screen. they permanently edited that one. Oh, For maybe. Reels. Oh, then maybe I didn't even yeah, find that one. Yeah, I think one. they changed it, which I was not a fan of because that original. We're gonna move on. I don't yep. want to. I don't want to make this my hill to die on. Yep. Or do I? That you was one what? of the funniest onion columns I've ever read in my entire I, life. I, I actually don't know it. Will you tell us the legend of the column that Bryce, was? Bryce, back to you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Green Room. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the rest of the program. 
Hello, everybody. Uh, it's the Great Night Free Show. Green room, great room, whole dang thing. Thank you for continuing to join me. I'm Bryce Castillo. Navigating you in and out. Where's my mouse? There it is. I, I'm wearing these sunglasses, but what? Like, two of these five screens in front of me uh, are, are, the, are the wrong pol polarized. So I look up and it's just a black screen. I got I to gotta tilt my head to... Make it go. All right. Well, uh, before we get into the show, we uh, got a couple of minutes here. Let's do a few uh, birthday borners. This is the part of the show where we give shout outs that you tell us about over in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Go to the birthday borner channel. Let us know when you got something or someone who needs a shout out like CJ. CJ just had their 21st birthday. Happy birthday, CJ. Hope it was a fantastic one. If you want to get them, I don't. If you want to get a birthday shout out, please go to our birthday corner in the Discord. Discord.greatnight.tv. Want to do a little bit of critical racing theory very quickly. We had a race over the weekend, the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hey, stop me if you heard this one. Max Verstappen won it. He won by like 30 seconds. He won so fucking bad. Uh, but uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, Lando Norris taking number two. Uh, and then number three, uh, Sergio Perez ended up back on the podium. Uh, good for Sergio. He, uh, he certainly needed it. Uh, he has been fucking up a lot. <laughs> so I'm glad, I'm glad that he could actually have a good recovery race. He, he didn't do great in qualifying, uh, which, which which just meant that it was tough for him for the race. But uh, back up on the podium, that's good for him. Uh, you're kinda, you kind of, you got to, you know, you got to perform. Coming up this weekend, we've got uh, the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa Francorchamps. Spa is a great course. There's uh, one of the, one of the like three races in Gran Turismo that actually gives you money is at Spa. It's, but it's a 60 minute race. It's it's six it's 60 minutes and it's a whole uh like they speed time, they speed up like the weather and stuff. So it's like you're doing a 24 hour race, but in one hour. Uh and I've done that, I've done that race a lot. So I I, I like spa. I think spa is a is a is a very cool, kind of classic sort of track. And uh that that'll be uh we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see if uh, if McLaren really do keep keep uh, uh, keep this upgrade going. If Mercedes uh, can seem to still be turning around their uh, their thing, um, uh, we'll, we'll 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 find out about that. Uh, that's this weekend, so check it out wherever fine programs are. Hi, Justin. When's the Vegas race? That is a uh, uh, November. November. It is one of the last races of the season. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it's on a Saturday. It's a Saturday race. No, yeah, that I, I remember, and it's like late, right? It is. It's like nine or ten local. Like, which I mean means it'll be a shit show. You think so? Saturday night at nine o'clock in Vegas. What do you think is happening? Well, I, I, I think they're doing like what they did with Miami last year when Miami was new, and they're not trying to have it be a, a. a a, a ton of capacity and have a bunch of tickets. And so they're doing all, you know, they're doing all these expensive hotel packages, a oh, million dollars, $2 million, but yeah, but they're racing through the strip, right? They're racing through part of the strip. Yeah. Yeah. So that means everybody who's on the strip will, I mean, at least, all right. So last time I was in Vegas was when F1 was doing their like, Hey, we're going to shut down the strip and race cars up and down and shit like that. Yeah. Like that was kind of a shit show because everybody would go to the bars that were on the strip that had the good views and they would, you know, sell tables to do it. But sure. it was an absolute assholes to elbows freak show. And I can only imagine, especially because it's in November, which is a bit of an off season for Vegas, that it will only be F1 fans and they will all just be like, trying to to muscle up to the front of whatever strip bars they possibly can yeah. to, to, to get a get a gander I wonder there was a, there was a news story out there the other day that uh, uh, the uh, 
was it, that 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 F one was going to some of the other resorts and hotels along the track and saying, uh, "Hey, uh, we need to put up some infrastructure around here. Uh, why don't you pay us so we don't give you an obstructed view?" Cause, oh, cause they, so they were trying stands. to say, "Oh, for safety, we need to put shit up." Or just yeah, we have to put stands somewhere. We have to put shit somewhere. Pay us a bunch of money so that we, uh, you can have a view. But it but it was some like ridiculous, in, like millions of dollars or something. Something, something stupid. Uh, I'm, yes, sure, I'm sure it was phrased in a soft way, like uh, we would love to partner with you to make sure that the view is as good as possible. What we need is your money. What you need is. Us to not block out the sun. Yeah, yeah. I would. We we would sure hate, would be a shame. We, we would hate to put up a lead wall. <laughs> right. You know that's hate- the traditional F one lead wall that we need to do for people who don't pay us money. Well, it's history, you know. And if you forget it's history, history. you got to repeat it. Exactly. So. You know, Santa didn't die for not putting up a lead wall. That's right. That's right. And, and we remember him with every lead wall at every course now. Every lead wall we knock twice for Senna. That's right. And, and a nah. third time and a third time for Jesus. That's right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, callers. All right, everybody. Well, uh, we are going to get ready for the great night program here. It looks like we got just about everybody in here. Uh, uh, did we have an audience today? Yeah. I think she's busy working. Oh, yeah. They'll come in with. No, don't get. No, don't. Oh, we'll just do the show. Let's we'll just do the show. It's fine. Uh, thank you, though. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you for the. <clears throat> thank you for the energy. Uh, by the way, Marbles is uh, coming up this Thursday. Special announcement on Marbles on Thursday. So make sure you join us for that. Uh, okay, folks. Well, let's do our final checks here. Let's see. Looking good, Brett. Are you ready to go? Well. Boy. Hi. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. There we go. Uh, Justin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, yeah. Was that a yes? <laughs> don't, don't, you know what? We don't okay. poke it. We don't okay. poke the bear. Okay. Annalisa? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Our audience in the Vienna the studio show. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here on the Great Night program. Of course, patreon.com slash great night is where you can support this. Brett, you ready to do a show? Let's do it. Then I will count you in. <laughs>